What's up, everyone? It is Monday, January 30th, 2017, and it's time to go to work on music. So, woo, dealing with a lot of stuff, guys. This year is just, uh, it's kind of intense, kind of intense so far, but um, we're making it happen. Steady grinding and a lot of distractions, but I'm here. So, um, today what I'm going to do is get through some online classes, do a little bit of guitar work, and um, that's probably going to be the whole session, sadly. I, I, um, I got into some heavy conversations earlier, and that took up about two hours of music time. And uh, that's not good. That's really not good, guys. And i got to look at that and make sure that, uh, that I really stick to that, that timing, you know. And it's, it's hard. Uh, there's so many sacrifices that we make, and... Some relationships are going to go by the wayside, you know, and um, obviously we want to do what we can to maintain the important ones, um, but it's also good to be honest about what the priorities are, you know, and some, some certain relationships are the priority way over, over music all the time, and others aren't, and, um, you know, I'm just struggling with that, just like I'm sure you guys are out there dealing with, uh, you know, saying no to important stuff so that you can do stuff that's even more important. And that's just what prioritization is about. So it's all good. At the end of the day, I'm happy I'm getting some time in here. It's going to be a good day. Uh, why don't we just uh, get right into it? good study session learning about sample rate a little bit more and uh, what happens when you downgrade the sample rate too much which is called fold over which is really interesting and introduces a bunch of new frequencies into the repeating wave pattern and really changes the sound adds all these new pitches in and then uh, it sounds kind of funny it sounds kind of cool like I could see how you could make that musical which is interesting um, then I was kind of getting a little overcooked with the Beinhorn blog, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's been awesome exploring that, but I've been digging through that for like over a month, and I'm kind of just like, oh my gosh, it's time to switch things up. So I bailed on that article, I'll come back to it later, and got back to the music business class that sort of led to that tangent, finding that blog, and um, I think that blog is going to be well worth exploring as time goes on, but I don't know if it needs to be the focus of what I'm doing right now, and I don't need to get through that whole thing before I go back to my business class. So, got back to the business class and was doing some research on a band called Incubus, which one of my partners in crime said my sound or music and writing kind of reminds her of them. And um, I don't know how close of a match that is, but I think it if that association comes up in someone else's mind, then I want to do my diligence and research on that and see how that fits into my own genre and um, possibly some um, some targeting, some market targeting. So did a little bit of that and um, then I'm just reading more about groove, like uh, tempo, picking a, a speed that matches the story of the song. Um, rhythmic uh, feels matching like a stylistic feel that fits the song like is it a latin feel is it a funk feel is it a you know heavy metal feel that kind of stuff rhythmically and then rhythmic value is like whether you're using quarter notes or like a 16th note feel i think um or like a whole note feel like a or like a quarter note feel like you know that's different than Ticka 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 like a tower of power thing or something. So um, that's really interesting to think about. And then um, then they were talking about rhythmic motifs um, or rhythmic ideas, which are just patterns that distinguish certain sections. Like there might be a ryth rhythmic motif for the verse, and then a different rhythmic motif for the chorus or something like that. So really interesting dissecting those ideas of a groove and starting to think about some more of the finer points and particulars of what I'm doing. And this is fun, just really, really fun. I'm really enjoying that. So I'm gonna get into some guitar practice here. Let's uh, let's go.